Welcome back to Evil Land. We'll see how the crashing goes. So it just kind of put me here. I, there's no items collected over there, so I'm just going to head straight into this. Uh, can't go there, so I will head straight into the city of Genova. Let's see. Appears to have loaded graphically. Traitors and disciples, traitors and disciples. All day long, all I see is traitors and disciples. It's crazy. Has everyone really become a traitor or a disciple? You are now entering the great trade capital, Genova. Be sure not to make any trouble, and we'll ensure your safety. You just got to Genova, right? It's obvious from your tan you spent too much time outdoors. In Genova, my delicate skin is protected from the sun's harmful rays by the vapors of the smug. Ooh, you. Let me through. I'm training. I'll need to build up strength if I want to climb Mount Alpha. That's the only way to become a disciple. Good tip. Can I just go into the building? Oh, I can. The fruit bowl, no. I can't seem to find my key to the library, but I'm certain I left it here. I simply must find it to continue my study of the scientific explanation for the predominance of traitors in an echno econo religious system within a post disaster society. And where has Mimi gone? Still hanging around with her friends, I suppose. Well, as long as she stays out of trouble and lets me work. Now, where is that blasted key? Right there? Can I, can I find a key? I kind of searched about everything. This door is closed. In the bottom corner. It's the runner. Have you noticed those pipes outside Genova? They pump the smug that provides us with energy. What is smug composed of? I don't know why. Do you think it could be dangerous? Possibly. You there. It's your lucky day. You just won this gem of a home. Claiming it is so simple, a child could do it. A child with 10,000 gold. That is my modest purchase fee. So what do you say? Not right now. I don't think I have that. I like the cut of your jib, so I'm going to go out of my way and offer you a reduced price. 5,000 gold is my final offer. So what do you say? Nah. You drive a hard bargain. Okay, 500 gold in cash up front. Nah. If you're broke, you should have said so sooner. I'm very busy, you know? Uh, I've got 500. Let's do it. Sure. Aha, thank you. I'm most delighted to get rid... I mean, to sell you this charming abode. Enjoy your new home. Key to your house. Alright, we got a house. Oh, I like it. Little scruffy blanket. No. You get free sleeping. And that's that's worth ten sleeps. Welcome to McDonald's. Ah, we've been serving the healthy gourmet food for over 100 years. My great-grandfather founded this restaurant, which fast became the best place to dine in all of Genova. He's a real legend in our family. Oh, there's some profits. No doubt about it. It's nice to eat something other than camp food. Luckily, I've moved up in the ranks. Otherwise, I'd still be digging with the other idiots. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to every last diner. Oh, a pub. Could be the inn. My daughter likes to play with her friends out in the courtyard at the inn. I can't imagine what they do out there all day. Ah, but perhaps you would like to rest for a while. Nah. This inn's far more empty. Like one profit. The food here is okay. 
but it's small beans compared to the McDonald's. Best restaurant on the whole continent. It's getting harder to find non-smug and rich fruits and veggies. Sure, they look pretty, they've got brighter colors, but they're completely tasteless. How am I supposed to use that stuff to cook up some proper plates of food? I don't know. Got stairs, though. What are you looking at there? All these books everywhere. I do hope that the Prophet will enact a law banning them. Okay. Can't have any competing narrative, of course. Be too dangerous. Uh, it's just, there's an entrance down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A shield shop? Or armor? Hello there. We have lots of high quality equipment for sale, all forged with the power of the smug. Take your pick. Smug belt, smug boots. Yeah. These are good prices. Bronze, I've already got bronze. I can sell the old sword. But I don't need to. In case there's some reason, like a, a slot you could put in or something. And like backtracking. The disciples train at the Prophet's Pyramid west of here. It's got a big eye engraved on it. You can't miss it. A heart. Is this an orphanage? With beard? Why? Why did I accept that contract? Every day I ask myself the same question, over and over. My wife's never forgiven me. To think that I was taught to just say no to the traders who want to sell me things I don't need. Are this like buying addiction? Leave me, I just want to die alone. I really tried, you know. After working so hard, I almost managed to become a trader. And now I've lost everything. It's my fault. All my fault! Back in the Imperial days, this place was an orphanage for the children whose parents died in the war. Nowadays, it's a home for people bankrupted by the traitors and have nothing left. I would have preferred taking care of the children. Adults only get what they deserve. It's their own fault if they're in debt, right? Makes you wonder if they do it. Why they do it. Didn't anyone tell them what might happen? It was a calculated risk. They just lost. Hey, kids. You orphans? Let's double check everything first. Mimi, did you get the key? Yep, I got it. Brilliant. How about you, Ribbon? Do you have the map? Yeah, boss! I got the map. Awesome. I hereby declare Operation No Toys with Plenty of Books has begun. Okay. Saku, I think we should come up with a better name for our operation. I think so too. How about we call it Operation Super Mimi? Ah, no! It's not just your operation, it's all of ours. And so, might I suggest Operation Saku and her friends? No way! Why should there only be your name in our operation? Uh, maybe because it was my idea in the first place? Well, I'm the one who stole my dad's key. If I get caught, I won't get dessert at, for at least three days. Which means I'm the one taking the biggest risk here. Stop arguing, you two. I just want to read the books that are hidden in the library. It's so boring without any toys. So, so why not call our operation Operation Books for Ribbon? No! Hoo hoo hoo! You guys are so mean to me! I'm gonna cry! Ribbon? Come on now, don't throw a fit. Hey, how about we go back to our HQ and choose the name? Good idea, Mimi. Alright, everyone return to HQ. Hey! Wait for me, you guys! So they've got a key and some other stuff that I think I need to take for myself. Is the barracks. 
You don't look like you're from around here. Good advice. Try not to blaspheme near disciples or certain members of the militia. Makes no difference to me, but some are a bit overzealous. How do you blaspheme? Oh, there's loads of different ways, and they just seem to get more uncompromising every day. Tell you what. Better yet, don't say a thing. Anyway, you don't really look like the chatty type. Yeah, I don't have a lot of lines. I'd rather eat here than in the tavern. This way, I save up money to buy myself a meal at McDonald's every once in a while. It makes me drool just thinking about it. When I was young, I often came and played in the streets of Genova. But after the great disaster, with the city becoming a terrible place, with the traders and the prophets seizing power, and the smug makes me cough, and many residents have fallen sick as well. Ever since, I've cut down on trips to Genova as much as possible. But where are you from? Or is this the only surviving town? Here's the library. Look, Stavix, the Imperial Library! I'm not sure what it's like now, but in my day it was known for its many documents. I bet if we get go there, we'll find out plenty about this time period. It's also likely to have something on the location of the megaliths. We'll have to find another one to get back home, seeing as the one that got us here was destroyed. But megaliths are quite rare. Even if we were to find one, how would we activate it? Not to mention it could end up taking us on an entirely new era. Minos, stop being so di- Whatever that was. What else can we do besides try? Hmm. Nothing we can do will change anything. My people. My son. All of them dead. Ah! Stevex, I think Minos is going to need some time to adjust. Let's try to find information as fast as we can. This door is closed. Why is the door closed? Library access is restricted to researchers. They're the only ones with keys. Yeah, I know. I want to read books anyway. Utterly pointless. He's got a point. Did I look at these already? That's the McDonald's. That's the house I bought. So I gotta find their secret base. Been through this way. Did I go down? Maybe, maybe not. It's the armor store. There's. Th Our family has been poor for generations, but at least before we could see the sun. Now everything uses smug, and the smoke blocks out the sun, and everyone's getting sick. The traders are the only ones getting richer. What do we get out of it, huh? I worry about my daughter's future. Yeah, not much can be done. Oh, I can go into the side door. Haha! -ha! Oh, how easy it is to cook with a smug burning stove. I can't do it without it anymore. What? You've heard smug fumes are toxic? Everyone has to die from something. Plus, considering how much it cost me, I have to make good use of it now. Top hat place. Mr. Mud. Okay, well, hello there, citizen. What can I do for you? Who are you? Oh, I'm but a humble trader from the long line of traders. My grandfather was already a professional merchant at the time of the Empire. He was a real hero, helping those who needed passage in or to or out of Geneva during the war. He did many favors, and he also earned money his keep by working hard. Thus was born the Fogwell Dynasty. Quite a beautiful story, ain't it? What can I do for you? Um, I actually have a coupon. The great disaster happened 60 years ago, on the 50th anniversary of the Empire's victory over the demons. No one knows exactly what happened, except that a huge explosion wiped out the southern part of the continent. Genova was not entirely spared, and the turmoil that followed ultimately led to the Empire's demise. Thankfully, the traitors were there to restore order. What can I do for you? 
traitors. After the great disaster, my father and his merchant friends came to the Empire's rescue. They formed the council that would take actions necessary for Genova's survival. Someone needed to act quickly with all the chaos. The militia was created to replace the army. The former imperial tax system was abolished to make way for a fairer system. They gave people their freedom back. Since then, everyone is free to do trade and become wealthier. Oh, naturally traders' sons all become traders themselves, but at least everyone has a chance. What can I do for you? Let's see. The smug. The explosion of the great disaster left behind a gaping hole filled with this strange substance. As no one rightfully knew what the stuff was, people called it smug. Our scientists quickly found that the smug could be used as an energy source. The traders declared a monopoly on the buying and selling of smug and built the smug line to transport it to Genova. Since then, everything here has been fueled with smug, and every time people use some, more money lines the council's pockets. Isn't technology grand? And a boat. So you're looking to get to the Cursed Isle. It's a weird place. I wouldn't go near it if I were you. But here, it's all your call. It's your call. A force majeure letter signed by me is all you need, need to set sail. Naturally, it'll cost you. Would you have something interesting to trade? I would, a loyalty badge. Oh! Why, that's one of my grandfather's badges. I thought they'd all been lost in the Great Disaster. Their value is strictly sentimental. Please, give it to me in exchange for a pass of safe conduct. Yeah. Thank you. As promised, here you go. Pass of safe conduct. The great disaster! My village swallowed up by the smug. And look what's become of Genova, Stevix. Is that really our future? Maybe we can stop it. You did not mention demons. They must be hiding somewhere, or dead. I cannot believe they all vanished into thin air. That's not the number one problem here. My village, my parents, everyone's gone! Stevix, we have to stop this great disaster from happening. Hmm. I understand your anguish, Miss Fina. But if it is indeed possible to change the course of events, we should start by saving my people. That can't be changed, Minos. Demon's defeat is a part of the history. I learned about it in school. It's in the past. But what happened here, that hasn't happened yet. Perhaps in your past, Miss Fina. But to me, your present is my future. What might happen to the Empire is none of my concern. I want my people to live, to not be wiped out by our enemy. But if the Empire doesn't defeat the demons, that could change everything! I mean, maybe I wouldn't even exist. It's just too risky. And what of the people who live here and now? Maybe they too will disappear if you alter the past. Does that not bother you at all? But who knows exactly what can or cannot be changed? It may well be that all of this already exists. Perhaps we have already come here, we have done all of this, so no matter what we do, nothing can be changed. You know what, Minos? I don't really know, but I'm at least going to try. That's all we can do. How about you, Stevix? Do you think we can change time? I think so. The story wouldn't be as interesting if we couldn't. You see, Minos, Stevix is an optimist just like me. And if we can, what do you think we should change? The Empire's victory, the Great Disaster, probably both. Thank you, Solid Snail. I knew that I could count on you. We could just put the demons on, like, some sort of, like, reservation system. Are you sure, Stemex? It's pretty risky. Could throw off the world's balance. But we will still need to be able to turn back time. I do not know what is possible or even reasonable to hope for. Before anything else, we must find a Magalith. On that much, I can completely agree, Minos. Let's go to the library and dig up some info. I have a good feeling we'll find out where there's a ma Magalith. You heard that, Stevex? Let's get going. Let's keep talking to these people. Like a plant thing. For goodness sake, Marion, I've told you a thousand times not to wrinkle the linen liners. You poor girl, you have absolutely no sense of perfection. The Great Destroyer demands perfection, and I serve the Prophet, who represents the Great Destroyer. 
The mistress is so demanding. I'm more frightened of her than of the Great Destroyer. I'm not even sure he actually exists. The mistress, on the other hand, I couldn't be more sure. I've gone and blasphemed without meaning to. Please, don't turn me into the disciples. I beg you. Okay, she's having a mental breakdown. I actually have been in there. Can't go down further, but I can go to the sewer. Or, I think so. You. When I was little, I'd always go hide in the sewers with my friends. It was full of rats and other disgusting stuff, but man, do we have a good time. But ever since the great disaster, I just don't enjoy life anymore. It's, it's locked. So it's telling me directly go to the library. I know that the library, I'm locked out. So what does this mean? Closed. Restricted. And I probably can't go anywhere up north either. Have you ever been to the Emperor's former, former palace? Actually, yes. Oh, how did you manage that? Only the Council of Traders can access the palace. Many years ago, this was the Emperor's palace. Nowadays, it's where the Council of Traders before, operates from. Most of the traders reside in the palace, with the exception of a few like Mr. Mudwell, who live in town. Oh, Omar. Oh, he's just sleeping. Huh, what? By lying stretched out on the ground, I can come in with the Great Destroyer. The Great Destroyer is omnipotent, and he will destroy the world in order to rebuild it. Do you think he can hear me? Alright, so I think I have to adventure in the overworld. That's my take. So I will do that in the next episode. So catch y'all then.